M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Over the years, I've used switch mode power supplies, just like this one. Okay, and their budget, and they always tend, to be honest with you, they always tend to break. So I've decided to get this one here. Let's have a quick look at it. This one was about 160 pound. Now this is a much bigger, heavier power supply made by Charm, and it's a 30 amp power supply, but it's linear. That's the main thing, it's a linear, power supply so it's a lot heavier as well the nice thing about this switch mode is they're light and portable but like I said they always seem to break and then you get interference problems where they give out certain frequencies that are not you know good for HF radio so let's just unwrap so on first impressions this is a very nice solid looking device and it has the reputation that Charmin have You've got your cigarette lighter adapter there, your pole adapters, an adjustment here as well. Looks like you can adjust the voltage. I'm turning this, it says 1.5 to 15 volt on off. Fuse, and then you've got some connectors here, easy access connectors. These are only six amp. This is where your 30 amp is. And that's the, uh, the fan at the back. So let's plug this in. I've dug out my 450 just to quickly test on this, although it's actually, I've actually got it for my 7610. I do like the 450. I tend to keep the radios that I have now, because I know that I can just dig them out whenever I want and have, and have fun. And I do like it when you can actually take the knobs all the way off, because quite, quite often I've bought power supplies, so you just can't take them. The knobs just don't come all the way off, but they do on, on this model. Here's another switch mode power supply. If you Google it, it says, in switching power supply designs, the input voltage is no longer reduced. Instead, it's rectified and filtered at the input. Then the voltage goes through a chopper, which converts it into high frequency pulse train before the voltage reaches the output. It's filtered and rectified once again. Now this, this does work, it's very light and portable. Uh, but it, if I if I'm running at you know if I'm drawing the near the 25 amps that this one is, then it's going to struggle. A linear power supply, a transformer consisting of an iron core and coil, is used to reduce the voltage to an incoming alternating current (AC). The voltage is then rectified by a diode in the rectifier circuit and smoothed by a capacitor in the smoothing circuit to provide a stable voltage. I ran uh, just an old length of wire out the door for when I do power this up, just so we can see my FT450 working just here on the kitchen table. Okay, it's on. It looks very nice. I like the green. Got the voltage showing there, which I adjust here. Amps when we PTT. So let's turn on the radio. No, it won't be that great because we've we've just stuck a bit of wire on it. No, not not a lot happening on that bit of wire. Shame, but I mean this is why I've kept it. It's just such a nice looking device when I do use it. There's someone there just in the background. When I do use it, I plug it into my main antenna and I just enjoy it. It's got a built-in tuner. There's your bands. Good old FT, FT8. Way. That 
is literally just a length of wire, I'll show you. Just there. Just chucked along the floor. And chucked out here, look. You know, this what I'd say about HF is if you want to listen, just receive. Just grab a length of wire. You'll hear something. There you are. <laughs> trying to trying to hook it onto something a bit higher. Okay, it's quite a nice day today in the UK, Southwest UK. So yeah, wire just going in through here. To my table. <laughs> Two one five. I think we were lucky to get that one. Looks like the, you know, the, the skip must be up to get this just on a bit of wire. Anyway. I think my, I can adjust my shift here, I think. Well, it's been a while. There yeah. Oops. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. So we're just introducing my Shaman. LM30 power supply. 7-3, all the best.